Hi, Dan here from Weiss North America and today we're going to be talking about how to set the brake gap on a Weiss TC indexer. You can access this and other Weiss videos all in one place at myweissna.com by creating your free account. The brake is located between the fan wheel and the bearing bracket of the drive motor. The brake must be visually inspected every two million applications or once a year, whichever comes first. It should be checked for correct functioning, wear, mechanical faults, and also dirt and debris. The first thing you're going to do is remove the drive motor from your indexer. Please reference our video, replacing the drive motor. There are four screws to remove the rear cover to access the brake. Remove the protective rubber cover by pulling it towards the fan wheel. And blow out any debris using compressed air. Use a feeler gauge to measure your brake gap all the way around. The gap should not exceed 0.2 millimeters. If your brake gap exceeds the 0.2 millimeter tolerance, you will have to readjust your brake. You'll need to use a pair of snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring at the back of the motor. Use two pry bars like this to remove the plastic fan from the shaft. Remove the protective rubber coating, rubber cover by pulling it back towards the back of the motor. Then you can clean out debris and dirt using compressed air in the gap all the way around. And then loosen the three screws using a three, three millimeter hex head socket and you just loosen them, you don't remove the screws. To set the adjustment on the air brake, there's three adjusters, and you'll wanna turn each one equally. Retighten the three screws with the three millimeter hex head. Use your feeler gauge to recheck your air gap. And if needed, you can redo the steps to adjust it some more. Put the rubber cover back over your air gap to protect it from dirt. Put your fan cover or your fan blade back on, lining up your keyway, and make sure the rounded portion of the blade is facing towards you. Then use your snap ring pliers again to replace the snap ring at the back of the fan. If you're unable to achieve the 0.2 millimeter brake gap, you will have to replace the entire brake assembly on your drive motor. Put the cover back on the rear of the motor with the four screws. I hope that we've answered any questions that you may have had, but feel free to reach out to us if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, and remember to visit myweissna.com to create your free account and get 24-7 access to videos like this and tons of other resources to help you create a perfect automation solution.